Coverage of Colorado now takes us up to Summit County, where despite a serious lack of deep snow, avalanche danger is still a concern. Today, CDOT was working hard to get rid of that threat on Loveland Pass. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Kroschel had a front row seat. As the sun rises, crews high above the Continental Divide go to work. Basically the size of a turkey, they throw it out onto the mountain. Um, it creates kind of an explosion, so that's what gets the slide to um, run. Hurling the explosives from the doors of this helicopter with the goal of dislodging potentially dangerous avalanches before they slide naturally uncontrolled. And the way the weather has been going, the snow right now is starting to become heavy with precipitation. Um, and we do expect another snowstorm in the future. And so we want to make sure that we're getting that base layer mitigated before any more snowfall comes. And then that creates another perfect scenario for an avalanche. We saw some snow slide down Mount Bethel, an area notorious for past massive slides. And this is very dangerous work, but CDOT crews say it's so important to keep the mountain passes open and safe for drivers. Sometimes our crews are going up there with um, wind conditions or when it's snowing. Um, and then plus they're opening up the doors of the helicopter as it's in motion and throwing out the avalanche mitigation device. So it is it is risky business. CDOT hopes to use their automatic triggered Gazex mitigation devices like the ones on the north side of Loveland Pass more in the future. But for many slide zones, this is the best way to take care of the current snow. Along the Continental Divide, Matt Kroschel, covering Colorado First.